Hey man, I'm Chris with Bonecats, and here is some gameplay for Max Axe. Uh, this vid's brought to you by Fright Fight on iOS. It's like a Super Smash Bros. alternative, and it has live multiplayer. Oh my god, back to Max Axe. I have never even seen a Rock Golem before. Uh, you can scoop this game up for a couple bucks, and I would recommend it. This is really fun. It does kind of have a... Uh, whoa, didn't even know that that was a thing. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Hold on. Okay, so it does kind of have like a peculiar kind of progression system to it. Man, but I want to say scratch that because I've never even seen that rock golem that came out of nowhere or these spinning axes. Oh dear. It's getting to the point where I'm going to use my res token if I can. If I have to. Those ones with buckets on their head I know are going to be an issue. Oh my god, one more hit, I'm dead. Oh! All right, I gotta use a token. I only have five though, and I know it's gonna take a uh, currency. Oh, second chance. All right, it's cool that they clear the map because I need all the help that I can get. This game does have upgrades to it, so every gameplay you get a little bit stronger. Oh my God, I'm already dead. Nah, we're tight. And every game they start to throw in new mechanics at a, at a surprising pace. I've never even seen these blue dudes and we got a red one throwing fireballs. Yeah, this might be the end. How did I spam out of that? I had to switch to left hand, going left handed on y'all. Oh no, I'm not using another heart token. I'm going to try to only use one per run, otherwise they'd be gone by now. I'm afraid of rock golems. I should have just been looking straight ahead. This is called Max Axe. It has a really good soundtrack, too. Alright, let's see if I got enough to buy an upgrade after those, uh... That was just one run. Leveled up. You can tell the user interface is, like, uh, designed for iPhones whenever you're scrolling through things. They got the leaderboards right there, so you always see, uh, who the top people are in the, in the whole world. And whenever you pass uh, people that I think that are on your game center. Oh man, I meant to click shop. Uh, whatever, we'll just tap out and go back home. So every time that you buy an upgrade, it shows it on your little tune guy. Tune guy. Instinctively go into the shop. So I'm back up to 6,000. I don't think I can buy anything. The next thing is a bare wrist upgrade for 15k. But that's what the UI looks like. It's pretty solid. If you wanted to get more gold, how much could I get? Gold doubler. So if you're going for that long-term gameplay, and I can't blame you, this is a really fun game. Uh, then go with that for five bucks. Otherwise, you can get twenty-five hundred for a dollar, and it seems like that would go pretty quick. So maybe that doubler for five bucks is the best one. Uh, that's it for this vid. Thanks for watching. Phone cats.